What's going on guys? Hope you guys are having a great day today. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to flatten a multidimensional array in JavaScript. Now this is actually a very commonly asked interview question and I'm going to try my best to simplify the approach. We're going to take two of the most optimal algorithms and explain it in this video. We're going to be explaining a recursive algorithm and also iterative algorithm. So if you find this video helpful, please consider pressing the like button below or subscribing as it might not seem like a big deal to you, but it means the whole world to me as I'm just starting off. And it's super encouraging for me personally just to even see one like or subscribe onto my video. So this is going to be a three part video. The first part, this video, is going to be talking about how to flatten a multidimensional array. The second part is going to be about how to flatten any sort of object in JavaScript. And part three is going to be about flattening any sort of input. Basically, we're going to be taking what we learned in part one, flattening an array, and then part two, flattening an object, so we can flatten any sort of input. Those inputs can be objects with arrays, or those inputs could be arrays with objects, null values, nan values, any sort of value can be flattened. I also do want to mention that I do have a website called frontendly.com where we're going to have over 75 different front end engineering interview questions, questions that are generally asked by top tech companies and 10 plus system design and 10 plus app design related questions. So if you're currently studying for interviews, check out frontendly.com. With that, let's get started. So let's start off with this example. We have an array here defined. This array has a bunch of nested arrays inside of it and those nested arrays can have any sort of values. It could be undefined values, primitives, null values, and so forth. What we're going to do is we're going to take this nested array and we're going to flatten it out so it looks something like this while also maintaining the order too. So let's build this out. There's two main ways to build this. The first way is the most common to build it out recursively. And the second way is to build it out iteratively. So we can start off by writing function flatten array recursively and this accepts any sort of input as an argument generally it's going to be primitives or arrays so but we'll just call it input and we can define a const called flattened which is just going to be our eventual results which is just a list of flattened values and then we can return flattened Next, what we want to do is we want to first check if this input is the type of array. So what we can say is if array, that is array input, meaning that this is an array, we can go ahead and do some things and we'll get to that in a second. Otherwise, we'll do some other stuff. So first, let's handle the value of what happens if this is actually an array. So if it's actually an array, we can iterate through the array. So we'll say input for each item. Now we have every individual item within the array. Once we get our item, we can define a new variable const result. And this result is just recursively going to call our flatten ar array recursively function with the item that we've already specified. And now all we simply have to do is take in our flatten variable and push it, push our result into it while using the spread operator. So we'll say spread out the result because this result is going to be an array. So because it's going to be an array, we can spread it out and make it as a flat array as part of the existing top level flattened array. Otherwise, if we hit our else statement, meaning we're now not returning arrays, it's returning objects or primitives or anything else. In this case, let's just keep it simple. It's just going to return primitives. We can simply just push our primitive, our input directly into our flattened list. And now we can try running this. So we'll do a console.log flatten array recursively. And may, we want to make sure we pass in our array as the argument. And there we go. It's flattened our array. So we should expect one, two, undefined, three, null, four, five, six, and seven. So it matches our input. Uh, and once again, I just want to reiterate what we just did. We specified our input. Now this input could be an array, it can be a primitive. We first check if it's an array. If it's an array, we iterate through the items. Then we get our result, which is just calling our recursive function again. This item could be a primitive. It's a primitive, it flattens it and pushes it into the flattened array immediately. If it's an array, it returns itself again. 
gets the flattened value and then spreads that out and pushes that back into the flattened array in our function. And finally, it returns it. This is how we build it out recursively. Let's also build this out iteratively. So we'll say function flatten array iteratively. And we can pass our array in here. Because this is not a recursive function, the input will always be an array. So in here, what we want to use is we want to use a depth first search or breadth first search algorithm. And how that works is you define a stack or a queue. In this case, let's define a stack. And the stack is just going to be a simple copy of our existing array because we don't want to mutate our initial array. And then we again, we want to specify our flattened list, which is just an empty array and eventually just return flattened. Just something like this. And now what we want to do is we want to iterate through our stack as long as it has some sort of length. And once we iterate through it, we're going to be popping off. And in this case, we're going to be actually removing the first item from the stack. And we're going to be checking if that item is going to be a type of array or if it's going to be a type of primitive. If it's a type of array, we're going to push that back in to our stack in the very first element. Otherwise, we're going to just push it into our flattened array. So we'll say while stack dot length. As long as stack has length, let's get the current current value in the stack. So we'll say const current equals to stack dot shift. Remember, shift will take out the very first value from the stack itself. And now what we'll say is if array is array current, we can do a stack dot unshift and we can use this uh, spread operator here again and get the values from current, which is an array and pass that into our stack. So now the first element is going to be that spread out array. Otherwise, if it's not an array, we can do flattened dot push current. Cool. So that should be good enough for the iterative solution. So now we can copy this and run this as well. So we'll say console.log flatten iteratively array. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna comment out the first log so we don't cause confusion. And when I run this, we get an error saying flatten. I think I spelled it wrong. It should be with an F. Let's run it again. Type error console.log. This. And there we go. We get the same result back. One, two, undefined, three, null, four, five, six, and seven. So that's how you flatten array iteratively and recursively. If you guys find this video helpful, please consider pressing the like button below and subscribing. Also leave a comment. Like I mentioned earlier, it might not mean a lot to you, but it means the whole world to me as I just started. And it's super motivating to see people engage with these kind of videos. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye.